Hi, my name is David Shapiro. I'm a San Diego-based criminal defense attorney, and today I want to discuss with you the charges of elder abuse. Elder abuse is one of those charges here in California where it can encompass a large number of alleged acts and wrongdoing. Elder abuse could be a situation where if you're a caretaker for someone over a certain age, <clears throat> like someone in their late 60s or 70s or so, and you're taking care of them, and even though there's no allegations that you physically abuse them, um, if you financially abuse them, basically if there's allegations that you committed identity fraud or forgery, basically you commit a crime against someone over a certain age, and you can be charged with elder abuse on top of the substantive crime. So say for an example, you forge that person's signature, and they're over a certain age, you could also be charged with forgery and also elder abuse. There's also the elder abuse in a, in a physical standpoint. If you put your arms, if you put your hands on and hurt somebody, or commit a crime attempting to hurt somebody over a certain age. So you could get in a fight with someone who's over a certain age, and you wind up getting charged with elder abuse as well as a substantive offense of battery or assault by means of force likely to cause great bodily injury. So, you know, elder abuse is uh, generally prosecuted, at least with the district attorney's office in San Diego, vertically. What that means is you'll be dealing with the same prosecutor throughout because it's a special unit that addresses elder abuse here in San Diego. So, you know, they take those cases very seriously. They assign their own prosecutor to them from beginning to end. They get a large number of, of grant awards from the state to prosecute heavily these people who take advantage of um, those who are elderly or those who are mentally infirmed and are unable to take care of themselves irrespective of their age. And it's definitely something that you should take seriously as well and make sure you hire the right attorney.